Hey, what's up everybody? Late Night Sage Jam here because I'm putting together a very special video since I was invited out to play Street Fighter VI by Capcom early. I got to play a build that's not quite finished, but pretty close with all of the characters in the game, all 18 characters. I got hands-on in World Tour mode. I got some training mode footage. I got some CPU battle where the CPU absolutely destroyed me and showed off a bunch of cool stuff. So myself and a bunch of creators were there, which was really, really cool. So a lot of other people are gonna be having some footage out. Everything you see today is on a very short timetable I had with the game. Uh, and everything in this video is not going to be all the footage I have. I'm going to be going over all the footage I have on Twitch later on. So if you want to come check that out, go there. And I'll be uploading another video talking about World Tour mode and showing off some of the other footage I have there. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as I mentioned, I didn't have that long to record. It was probably about an hour, hour 10 that I was allowed to record non-World Tour stuff. I got to play a little later after, but it was about that much time that I got to do anything that wasn't World Tour mode. So training mode versus mode character battles, character tutorials in the game, the built-in guides they have, or the trial mode. We were not allowed to record all of the character guides or trials either. We were allowed to do Cammy's trials and JP's character guide uh, for recording. So I didn't do Cammy's trials because my thoughts were like, everybody's gonna do Cammy's trials. Instead, I mess around with a lot of other characters, one of which is Manon, you're seeing here. I wanted to show off her command grab. So if you pay attention to the metal levels at the top, she has new animations and more damage on her command grab and hit grab, which is a strike that she has. Look at the damage on this level five command grab. It's, I mean, absolutely chunks you. I reset here. This is the strike version. This also gives her medals uh, for doing this move. And as you can see, same thing, new animations, more damage on it. This character, I think, is a really mix-up focus character. I, I thought she was going to be like more mid-rangey than I, you know, than she ended up being. And from my impressions, and look at the last animation on this, she gets the big zoom in, slams them down, solid damage on that. She can combo into it. Uh, much more of a mix-up character, like I mentioned. So JP was the second character I training moded a bit, and he is really cool. I think if you like zoners or tricky characters that can set up traps, excellent he is really fun i did his character guide which you're gonna see next after this this teleport is really fast it's very ambiguous where he's gonna uh, end up i accidentally crossed up all the time and this is his regular zoning you can see he has these little ghouls he can send out as well as the spike on the ground he can also fake these ghouls so like you try to parry one of them and then he just command grabs you and then you lose a whole like two bricks of your drive gauge and you eat all this damage he is super cool way more fun than i expected probably not a character i'm gonna play but i yeah i love him i think jp is super fun super cool big fan of his theme so some of the matches i recorded for cpu battle i started with lily this is the other character i training moded in the very beginning with manon and jp and i figured i'll just boot up and get some zangi footage because everybody wants to see what geef's like this character is terrifying look what he does to me at the very beginning of the match when i'm just minding my own business like all right bro i see <laughs> i see how it's gonna be uh, but these two characters, I mean, Zangief, his pokes feel great. He has lots of cool stuff to do that feels great to hit and it has really far range. That's his regular Lariat. Regular Lariat is two punches and EX Lariat is three punches. So that's how he does it. EX Lariat gives you Oki as well. So you can like combo into EX Lariat and get knockdowns and stuff that are up close and just get whatever pressure without needing a drive rush or anything. His buttons feel great. That's a standing medium kick. This is an anti-air super obviously every time you jump the cpu does it on reaction immediately and you get owned that happened to me quite a lot um, but on lily her pokes are great her heavy punches are all these like clubs that she has and i think without wind a lot of her confirms didn't feel super good but getting wind felt really easy for this character i consistently found that like you know you could just buffer back heavy punch that move i'm hitting a couple of times there into um the heavy version of her club swing and then you just get free wind off of it you get a knockdown feels great i mean the character's not like a fast grappler like mika or something unless she has wind and then she can just condor spire in and get all kinds of pressure feels great as zangief just absolutely don't uh manon is the other character i messed around with it's really funny you know i showed her earlier i was talking about her i thought oh this is a character that'll have like pokes you know she's like got these long limbs and stuff her pokes didn't feel like they were super long she felt much more of like a mix-up character with command grab or overhead low stuff she has a long range slide and a long range overhead that she can do that are really fast so a very different character style than i was expecting from her on the other hand marissa feels terrifying and i actually think i like marissa more than manon for me personally some of the reasons you're seeing is she has huge normals uh, she has a plus on block advancing move in her superman punch which you're gonna see here that move is advancing plus on block 
uh, and armored, which is super good. She has a command grab out of her stance. When you see her flash like that, it's actually a counter stance, and she can cancel the counter into a low or an overhead or a command grab. And it auto parries stuff when you do it. So when she jumps over me here, she's gonna like do the counter. And it does that little strike in the front. And afterwards, she can do command grab overhead low, or just cancel out of it. Her pokes felt great. Her anti airs felt great. She has really long reaching target combos that are special cancelable, which are really good. You're gonna see one here. Also, every one of her heavy buttons is chargeable, uh, which is one of the coolest things ever. Like, all of them are chargeable heavy kick, crouching heavy kick, standing heavy punch, back heavy punch crouching heavy punch like she can just charge all of them she has a down forward heavy punch like all of them are chargeable which is really cool i got some dalsam footage because i didn't know anybody there who was playing this character and i figured why not right lots of the same dalsam tricks you know and expect teleport in the front throws my parry i thought oh i see a teleport i'll just parry it and he kind of made me look like an idiot for it uh he has lots of really cool confirms as well he can combo his ex yoga flame into his level one super he can also do crouching jab into yoga flame on hit which is really good in street fighter 5 that's not really a thing he did right he usually had to spend ex uh, off of a lot of his moves to combo into yoga flame but in this you know you can just do regular yoga flame which is really nice his fireball is also very fast he was able to keep up with luke while luke was doing sandblast sandblast with his own fireball you saw that crouching jab yoga flame uh, right there which is really good i think a really nice app. look at this combo off the slide level one afterwards he gets to do whatever setup teleport you know that beat my jab also i mean nasty right super super nasty this character looks very scary to me a lot of the stuff that he did in the last game looks prevalent so yeah he looked really cool figured i'd get some footage for anybody who's a fan of dalsam out there and you know just slap it on there for you which um is really cool and i i also just figured like uh, zangief too i didn't see anybody there who played him and why not right why not get some more footage of this character you also notice i'm playing luke and not manon or a new character or something the cpu is destroying me so bad i, I was like maybe i should play a character i kind of know how to play it right maybe that would be better look at this drive rush combo can be level one from super far after and then still get pressure here i mean this position is brutal like yeah oh feels pretty bad so dj is probably the most fun character i training moded in the game uh he has fakes on all of his lights that are not machine gun upper so even his anti air the up kicks that he does the light version he like zips in the air and then you can do jump attacks out of it which i don't think i've seen anywhere it's really cool i'm a big fan of it um his standing medium kick is a really good poke you can combo after it. his standing heavy punch felt really great all of his moves just feel great and his level two super is one of the coolest supers in the game i think his level two super has a rhythm to it it's like a deadly rave so you, you have to hit time all the hits and there's three different versions one that starts with light punch one with medium punch one with heavy punch and the rhythm mechanic makes you get like a special follow-up and stuff it's really cool i had a lot of fun messing with it and everybody i talked with there i was like hey did you get the rhythm thing down and they're like dude i could not it was like really tough this is the super and you notice there's no like symbols above him or anything that means he's not hitting the uh, uh rhythm alongside of it so that was his level one super he confirmed off a of target combo so you saw level one and level two right there which is really cool also wanted to mess with some characters i figured there'd be some common questions dj is a mix between charge and motion which is really cool he has uh charge fireball charge up kicks and then i think motions on the rest from my memory maybe machine guns not charge i don't remember i tried to see if you could mash to do hands and stuff with honda nope same thing with blanca and it's a motion in this game i think it's core circle back for both of them so you can see me messing with it here this is heavy hands and stuff i also go through honda's move list very briefly here just you know checking to make sure some stuff and uh, you can see me mess with sumo dash a little bit there it's like new command dash which you can combo off of i have a little bit of footage of honda and comboing into some of this stuff like that's his main knockdown and then he has like a scoop uh follow-up move he can do out of it which is pretty cool i figured again i'm not sure how many people were going to capture honda so you know seemed like i should do a little bit of investigative work same thing with blanca again i wanted to see what his motions were whether he was a mix or not and yeah again mix of both charge and motion inputs he has his rainbow ball on a motion in this game which is very strange i'm not used to that at all it's very awkward you can see quarter circle back is the uh, electricity in this game it's not a mash move can't get it by mashing or anything messing around i'm trying to do rainbow ball here and i do up ball and i realize like oh rainbow ball is not the input i thought it was so you know a little different than how he is in some of the other games right see it right there backstop rolling attack um 
yeah i thought that was pretty interesting and a lot of the characters that were always charged before or like even if they had a mix you know there's a lot of that in this game characters are not primarily charged they have a little bit of a motion and charge which is pretty different to get your hands on in the beginning but then after a while you'll get used to it which i think shouldn't be a problem for everybody uh some training mode here with marissa i mentioned this earlier all of these are charged look at that swing not only that but all of these like charge moves take like an entire drive gauge on block like it's absurd that's her standing heavy kick that's like regular and you know this is her, her crouching heavy kick was that sweet yeah so that's the fast version and then i do the charge version and i'm just astounded i think that's one of the coolest mechanics in the game i was messing around with like drive rushing from outside of their normal range and doing charge moves to like catch them trying to check my drive rush and i thought it was really fun really cool so like i said i have lots of other footage to go over a lot of that will be on my twitch channel later today i'll be uploading another video talking about world tour mode because i got a bunch of footage from that so tune into the twitch stream and if you have any comments drop them down below or head over to twitch and ask them there and i'll answer all i can on stream and get it in the next video so thanks everybody for watching and i'll catch you guys again soon